Hi everyone, my name is Alex Servini and I'm the lead dietitian here at Samaritan Hospital and today I'm here to talk to you about a healthy plate and label reading. So while the, under the influence of substances and when we're distracted or depressed, people tend to make decisions with food that aren't the best. So we rely more on processed foods or fast foods and this can definitely have a consequence for our health. So when we make poor decisions when eating, our diets can be low in vitamins and minerals, which can lead to deficiencies. It can be high in unhealthy fats. We, it can lead to dehydration, loss of muscle, and also anemia. So first we're gonna talk about the macronutrients. So this should be the bulk of our diet. Um, these are essential nutrients that contain calories or energy. So these include carbohydrates, protein, and fats. So when we think about our total calories, 50% should come from carbohydrates, 20% should come from protein, and 30 should come from fats. And when we think about micronutrients, we think of vitamins and minerals, and those don't have any um, energy or any calories attached to them. So now we're gonna talk about my plate. So this is my plate. You'll notice that half the plate is fruits and vegetables. Um, a variety of options can count as fruits, so fresh, frozen, dried, um, even 100% juice, but it has to be 100%. Um, and then for um, vegetables, it can be fresh or frozen. And actually, a lot of times people don't know whether to buy fresh or frozen, but frozen can actually be cost effective and a good source of vegetables as well. Um, next, we're gonna talk about protein. So protein is one quarter of the plate. Um, meat options include beef, poultry, um, seafood, eggs. Um, for non-meat options, there's soy and soy products, nuts and seeds, beans, eggs, cheese, um, peas, and yogurt is also a source of protein. Um, so next we're going to talk about grains. When we think about the staple grains, we think about wheat, rice, oats, cornmeal, barley, and corn. So examples of these in our diet include bread, cereals, grits, tortillas, pasta, um, and when we think about the grains, we really want to make half our grains whole. So it will say it right on the label, whole grains. Um, next, we're going to talk about dairy. So milk and yogurt. Um, so all fluid milk products are considered part of this group. They prov provide calcium and also are fortified oftentimes with vitamin D. Um, and when you're choosing dairy foods, you want to just make sure that you choose low-fat and fat-free varieties. In addition to the plate and all that, that encompasses on it, we also want to talk about fats. So fats are used oftentimes to accent the plate. So whether it's oils or seeds, avocado, um, nuts, and cheeses also are um, incorporated in our diets as well. Another thing that we want to talk about is hydration. Um, so when we think about the best beverage for hydration, we think of water. Oftentimes people think sports drinks are the way to go, but a lot of times these are filled with um, unwanted sugars and they're just not necessary. The best drink to have is water. Um, in addition to water, you could also have watery fruits and vegetables. So examples of fruits include grapes, watermelon, grapefruit, strawberries, cantaloupes, and peaches. And for vegetables, cucumbers and celery. It's very important to make sure that you stay hydrated during any kind of activity and especially when it's hot and humid out. Now we're gonna talk about the nutrition label. So the nutrition label was updated in 2016 to include some other information that it was lacking before. So as you can see, now the info is a lot larger. Um, added sugars are included. Vitamin D and potassium are required and they updated the serving sizes to more reasonable amounts. So why is it important to read labels? They help us to follow a healthy diet and choose nutritious foods and allow us to make the best choices when it comes to different foods. So next when you look at the ingredients you want to pay attention to the first three ingredients. So they are listed by weight from most to least. So if sugar is in the first three ingredients you want to stay away from it to cut back on sugar intake. Other words that mean sugar include dextrose, maltose, glucose, galactose, fructose, malt, syrup, raw sugar, rice and corn syrup, molasses, and corn syrup solids. If you see a long list of ingredients, you want to kind of stay away from the product because it's 
got a lot of stuff in it that you don't necessarily know what it is and it's probably not good for you. Additionally, the percentages on the right side of the label tell us how much nutrient we are getting from one serving size of food based on the 2,000 calorie per day recommended amounts. Not everyone needs 2,000 calories per day, but the percentages can still indicate whether a food in question is very high in a certain nutrient and may or may not be, be appropriate choice. So for example, this product has 20% of our daily added sugars, so it may not be the best choice. You could see 12 grams of sugar. Okay. So in review, the five stops are serving size, calories, sodium, carbohydrates, total fat, and the ingredients. And then you also want to be mindful of the daily percentages. So that concludes our lesson on the nutrition label in the, my plate. Thank you all for tuning in to lesson two. Now that the lesson is over, we can test your knowledge with the post quiz.